is on the dig and what it can tell us about Faruk Akhenaton, not on artifacts from other cultures. Said, I need more time with the obelisk. I have specialists coming in tomorrow. What specialist? The obelisk is an Egyptian national treasure. You don't just invite foreigners to examine it when we don't even know what it is, huh? Some of the symbols on the obelisk are Ugaritic. Jack Hunter is... Hunter. Hunter. I know of this man. He is arrogant and brash. And he's the foremost expert on Ugaritic archaeology. Your superiors will hear about this, Dr. Hastrom. I'm the person in charge of this excavation. You just remember that. What's going on? goes, huh? And then some. Three years ago, the NSA started providing Professor Schaefer's research programs with funds with the intent to discover the truth about the Star of Heaven. 
We knew we had competition, so we decided to corner the market on all Ugarit experts. Professor Schaefer, Lena Holstrom, you. If there's one person that we couldn't get, Littman. He was employed elsewhere by the Russian Mafia. Vladimir Petrovsky, to be exact. One of the most notorious and dangerous mobsters in the world. Professor Schaefer knew nothing of the NSA's involvement. Well, if that's true, why did he ask me to photograph the tablet? I couldn't get the agency involved, so I convinced Professor to recruit you. It was supposed to be an easy job, Jack. We knew nothing of Lippmann's resources at the time. Not until he tapped your phone and killed the Professor. If Professor Schaefer was right, the second part of the star is in Egypt. Lena Holstrom is there, spearheading a dig near Cairo. And I know she's been in contact with you about a recent find. An obelisk with Ugaretic engravings. I know Fred would have wanted you to have this. You've been tracking us the whole time, haven't you? Jack, you know the power of the iris. Imagine the power if the two pieces were combined. Why would I want to give a weapon like that to the NSA? Why don't you ask yourself if you'd rather it be in our hands or someone else's? Littman's still out there. I think you have a score to settle. Yeah, I do. And if you lie to me again, I'm going to have to. Dust off the 20 pack is planned. We have a corporate jet take you from here to Damascus, where to maintain your credibility, you'll be joined by Nadia Ramadan. From there, you'll go on to Cairo. I want assurances. Like what? No one else gets hurt, this. I see Nadia must have something very special to have you care for her. I think you of all people should know what I do and don't care about anymore. Then do we have a deal? Drugged? <laughs> yes, yes. With a powerful hallucination, it was deployed in the tea we were drinking. I still don't see why we can't proceed. The workers are superstitious. They say that we have invoked the curse of Akhenaten. Well, our only hope is to close the site for a few months and hope this blows over. Saeed, you cannot stop the excavation. We are this close to finding Akhenaten's tomb. I can't get any more workers. To them, the mythological beasts who attacked the camp are real. Akhenaten soldiers protecting his legacy. Who were they, the men in the masks? We don't know. The masks are linked to a Median cult in Sinai that has been worshipping Akhenaten since he reigned. But they had been harmless until now. Okay. Well, Jack should be at the hotel any minute. I'd like to go and see him and show him the obelisk. Ahab will take you. He can arrange everything. Mmm, smells that Egyptian tamiya. Mm, there is nothing like it in the world. Yeah? Order some. Oh, no, 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 not from here. From the streets? Much better. More authentic. Go. Ahead. I'll call you when we're ready to go. I'll get you some, and you will see. The Egyptian tamiya is the best in the world. So how are you? Are you going to tell me where you disappeared to? Look, I, I don't want to get you involved. I'm already involved, Jack. I know you have feelings for me. Ali is dead. Lippmann has disappeared with one of the most important archaeological finds in my country's history, and all of this has happened since you showed up. Yes, Jack, I do have feelings for you. Well, listen, 
I don't want to be here either. We're going to meet an associate of mine who's found an obelisk with Ugaritic markings. And it could lead us to the Eye of the Star, and that's where we'll find Lippmann. And your precious artifact, which it seems is all you care about, huh? How dare you? I work with what I'm given. Jack Hunter. Dr. Halstrom. Hey. Hi. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. You look good. You do too? Welcome back to Cairo. Uh, why don't you have a seat? Ah, <laughs> uh, this is Nadia Ramadan. She works with the Syrian Ministry of Archaeology. Hi. Nice to meet you. And you. This is Ayat. He is the Director of Public Relations for the Egyptian Ministry of Archaeology. Hello. So, uh, how's the dig going? There was an attack on this site. We were temporarily shut down by the government. What attack? Has the Hashashin followed us here? I'm sorry, you are? This is Tariq Khalif. No, no, Tariq Khalif. He's assisting us on the trip. The Hashashin? The... No, uh, Tariq, eat your tamia. So, you were attacked at the site, but they didn't take the obelisk? No, the obelisk is safe. You, you don't find that strange? Jeff, I don't think anybody understands its relevance or importance. <laughs> Waiting for us to figure it out first. When can we see it? It's uh, in the museum here in Cairo. I made the arrangements for you to examine it when you are ready. Oh, we're ready. Excellent. Follow me, if you please. Okay, thanks, Aya. Jack. I just wanted to thank you for coming. After things ended the way they did, I'd hope that wouldn't deter you. What's done is done, right? Shall we? Boss is very unhappy. And why is that? You have something that belongs to him. Our deal is about two artifacts, not just one. We paid you. That was a down payment, and a small one at that. Tell your boss, if he wants me to find the second piece, I need more men and complete access to his North African resources. Do not return without second piece, Mr. Littman. Understood? You do your job, I do mine. Ramadan, what a pleasant surprise. Welcome. Fadalu, sit down. Ah, Ali spoke of you as a daughter. The world is lessened by his untimely death. Thank you. Mr. Hunter, I have heard of your exploits. I must say, I do not approve of treasure hunters. There's a fine line between treasure hunters and scholars. In this case, the obelisk means a lot to Professor Schaefer's work. As you know... I know of his theory. 
the connection between Ugaris and Pharaoh Akhenaton. I do not believe any of it. Regardless, I will allow you to examine the obelisk. Thank you very much. Please, take my card. If you need any help, don't hesitate to call me, okay? Dr. Shaheen, on behalf of the Syrian people, thank you. Dr. Holstrom will show you the obelisk. If there is anything else you need, you can call me. I'll take it from here, I have. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Dr. Hallstrom, how long had you been working with Professor Schaefer? About three years. I got to Egypt just over a year ago. Jack, is that right? We got here a year ago? Uh, uh yeah. And when did you find the obelisk? About a week ago. I tried to decipher it myself, and when I couldn't read it, I called the only man who I knew could. I'm glad you're here. You too, Miss Ramadan. Hello. Let's hope the obelisk points us in the right direction. Yes, let's hope so. Has it been carbon dated? Yes, to the end of Akhenaten's reign, about 1300 BCE. That's right when Ugarit disappeared. Oh, yeah, this is definitely Ugaritic. Look at this. Well, it seems like it's meant to fit into something. Jack, if you can decipher these symbols, maybe it'll tell us where. Maybe. How long do you think that'll take? Tariq, I need you to go to the car and get my bag, please. I'll be back. I need a couple of hours. Go to it. You found something important in Syria? Where'd you hear that? It's a small world. So did you? No. No, there was nothing. Good, then the treasure's still in Egypt. But isn't that what led you here? We came here because you needed our help. Jack's help. I got it. What does it say? Okay, the obelisk has four sides, each with a different story. This first one is a love poem from Akhenaten to his wife. Nefertiti? Yes. You know, some say that their love was stronger than that of Mark Antony and Cleopatra. What does the other side say? Okay, the second side talks about a great battle and a victory. And do you see this symbol right here? Uh-huh. What is this? That is the Egyptian symbol for Ugarit. And I thought Arabic was hard to read. They were reading outside. Do what they say. Oh. Follow me. The rest of the inscription turns the obelisk into a 
type of key. It's it's a decryption device. It's the first step of the journey to Akhenaten Tin Tomb. Yeah, where the treasure's buried. So where's the tomb? Well, it doesn't tell us exactly. We have to unscramble clues which point us to a different location, each one pointing to the next, hopefully leading us to the tomb. The way they determined their locations was by triangulating various constellations of that time period. So really, it's more of a puzzle than it is a map. Right. 3,300 year old puzzle. I figured out what the first location is. I used a recent map of Egypt, and then I triangulated it with a constellation pattern from 3,300 years ago. That's just east of Akhenaten's capital. Yes, it's El Hermana. It's 120 kilometers northeast of Cairo. We can get there in a couple of hours. Oh. Will Dr. Shaheen let us take the obelisk with us? I'll handle Dr. Shaheen. It's only a few hours by car. We can leave first thing in the morning. But well, that's okay with me if I'm driving. Who's that? Freeze! <laughs> Taking out the guards. They're after the obelisk. We're getting out of here. Tariq, I need you. I am fine, but I am. Now. Move this table over. Anything that comes through that door. What about that door? Well, say hello to my little friend. team for years. So could Saeed be behind all of this? Why would he want to steal the obelisk from his own museum? He was at the dig site when it was attacked too, remember? When I told him I was bringing you on board, he tried to talk me out of it. Dr. Shaheen is the leading scholar in his field. All the acclaim for this discovery would go to him anyway. Why would he risk his whole career? Who else would want the obelisk, Nadia? No one knows what it means. We have to tell Saeed about Ahab. We can straighten this out with one phone call. There's no way for him to believe us. We stole the obelisk. We did nothing wrong. We were attacked. Yeah, sure. Four foreigners with a stolen Egyptian artifact shouldn't be a problem. Out of respect, I'm making the call. Yes? Dr. Shaheen, this is Nadia Ramadan. We, um, we're in a bit of trouble. The police is looking for you. Where are you now? Well, we were attacked, yeah, and, we, and we barely escaped. That's not what Ahab told to me. He said Mr. Hunter arranged for some man to help him steal the obelisk. And when the guards tried to stop him, he started shooting. Where is the obelisk now? Well, we have the obelisk, but... but... That is theft of a national treasure. I advise to return it immediately. Dr. Shaheen, you don't understand. No, no, you are the one who does not understand. Turn yourself in now. The longer you wait, the harder it will be on all of you, okay? So now what? We're gonna have to keep a low profile until we get out of Cairo, that's for sure. We should head to El Amarna tonight. They're gonna have roadblocks set up. They're looking for us. We can't do that. 
I'll make some phone calls. Empty-handed. The American man. Yes. He escaped with Dobolisk. You have failed. You must understand, I did everything I could. Thousands of years ago, our father's legacy was swallowed by sands of Egypt. The rest of Egypt forgot about the pharaohs. This obelisk is the key to reclaiming that legacy. There is nothing more important. Not me, not your precious museum, and certainly not you. And now, because of your incompetence, we have lost it again. Take him away. doing? Our intelligence just picked up an all-points bulletin on you and your cohorts. We were set up, Liz, okay? Littman? Who else? You have any idea where he is right now? He hasn't popped up on our radar, but we have all of our resources on him. Where are you going now? The, uh... Obelisk pointed to a location northeast of Cairo, El Amarna. We'll be watching. Yeah, I'm sure you will. If you need a quick exit, go to Cairo West Air Force Base. They'll get you out of the country. Cairo West, got it. Only you, Jack. No one else. No, that wasn't our deal, Liz. The deal was that no one else gets hurt, remember? Then make sure they don't. Hello, I'm going to put my picture in the paper and on the television. Yeah, yeah, you'll be famous. But it's the photo in my passport. I never liked it. Even my wife says it's not good. I'll be the laughing stock of all my friends. No. You a laughing stock? Never. But don't worry. When all this is said and done, you'll be cleared of any wrongdoing, I promise. Thank you, Nadia. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm great. Okay. The great job finding this ferry, Lena. We're making pretty good time. We should be able to reach our first destination sometime this afternoon. Do you go fishing with guns? No. Why? Well, it seems in Egypt people do. Doesn't look good. Tell him we need to go faster. Captain, Raja and Daruli, kill my wife. Yeah, I'm in Hana. I got a mechanic. Captain, we got us now. But we're going to run out of time. Get us in a tourist. They always imagine the worst. Listen, this man, the captain, must have had a war. There's no pirates in Egypt. Yes. 
sir. Me. my boat. And which one is the not so great? I'll take it from here. You okay? Yeah. And how did they find us? That's a million dollar question. So where'd you learn how to fight like that? You know, women in our profession, you gotta learn to protect yourself. You know, we've been heading northeast for about five kilometers now. We should be pretty close to the ruins of El Amarna. What is this? Tariq, go ask him if he knows where the ruins are. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Allah yabird alayk. Amna li nabru ma'ala asharat atiya. Ibtarif fin ni? Ah. Farish. Oh, Jack. 
He knows where the ruins are. ممكن بالله عليك تاخذنا عليهم. عشان ايه؟ عمول معروف حاجه ضروريه، ساعدنا. خلبة. What do you say? He likes your watch. Give it to him. No. You give him your watch. Are you crazy? This is a Rolex. That's a fake Rolex. I want that one. <laughs> he knows about watches. Yeah. Okay, give it to him so we can get out of no, here. No, listen, you tell him that this is, Fr this is Frederick's watch. I'm not giving this to anybody. You give him your watch. No, this is how business is done in this part of the world. Don't tell me how business is done in you this part of the world. You want to stay here in the desert? It's done the same in every part. Of you understand what I'm saying, too. No. no. You have to give him your watch. Or... Just just tell him no. But you want me to tell you. You want me to start stuck here in the middle of the desert. Give it to him. Watch. Let's just go. What? Sir, excuse me, but we've come a very long way, and it would mean a great deal to us, to me, if you would please take us to the rooms. Is, is that possible? Of course. all around it. It's cursed. Cursed. All right. Well, you all stay behind here. I'll check it out. Great idea. We'll be waiting right here until you get back. Ma'asalama. Allah salama. Shukran. Habibi. What did you find? The next location. Through the Valley of Death. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Let's see. Yeah, it's this village right here, El Wadi Noradin. It's a long way to go on foot. But if we can get to this road over here, we can probably get a ride into the village. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Once we get into the village, we should try and contact Dr. Shaheen again. Let him know what we found. Maybe this time he'll believe us. Somehow, I don't think he will. Jack, how long do you think it'll take to get to that road? No, it's too far by foot. We're gonna have to find a safe place to camp tonight. We'll try tomorrow. I think we should tell Lena about the iris. I don't trust her, Jack. 
When we find Akhenaten's tomb, she's gonna learn everything anyway. How do you know that she's not working for the men who attacked us? How do you know she's not working for Saeed? Don't start that with me again, Dr. Sheen. Listen, the only way out of this is straight through it. Once we find the tomb, we'll find the answers that we need. I don't know who to trust anymore, Jack. What is that supposed to mean? You disappear without a word. You take mysterious phone calls from who knows who. You bring a woman on board with whom you clearly have a history with. A woman that I think has ulterior motives. And then you ask me to trust you. If you want trust, Jack, you have to give it first. Lena and I were a long time ago. It ended. She's clearly over it now, and so am I. Are you sure that you can be objective about her? If you're wrong, then who pays the price? Now she needs me. She needs me to find the treasure. She's not going anywhere without me. And I'm not going anywhere without you. This is a hard place to find firewood. Thank you, Tare. Making a call? Just trying to text Said again. Explain ourselves. Hmm. My battery's dead. I hear your expertise is Egyptian history. Yes. It is. When I was a child, I became fascinated with the stories of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. Their love for each other. Hmm. She wasn't afraid to go after what she wanted. You know she was the first queen to gain equal power in a world dominated by men. I'm familiar with their story. Didn't Agnaughton grow tired of her ambition? And then one day she just... disappeared. Yes. But unlike her, I don't plan on going anywhere. Your little games won't work on Jack. You know, Nadia, there's nothing worse than a jealous, possessive woman to drive a man like Jack into someone else's arms. Stay here and wait, yes? No. I see a town up ahead. We're gonna keep going until we get there. Oh. Let's get a ride. What if he won't stop? Well, let's not give him a choice. 
para eles. Out here. Are you crazy? We need a ride into town. <laughs> of course. I could never leave anyone out here. Salamu alaikum. Jack, see if he has a CD player. Thank you. You American? Yes. Then I will not ask you why you were walking in the valley of death. So, what's your sign? Watch out for these guys.
We tell them. We tell them anything. We tell them the truth, and then we contact the ministry and let them know what we found. We haven't found anything. We haven't done anything wrong. I'm sure they'll just let us go. Grasu, the colonel is coming. الأفندي نحن سواح وتهنا بالصحراء والله نحن سواح بس تورستس يس ام نوت ايزلي انسلتد باي ذا ارجنس اوف ذا امريكانز اي سبند ا يير ان يور كونتري ات فاست بوينت ان يو امريكانز لاف دوينغ ا جراند انترنس دونت يو ويل وير جود ات ات Please forgive my friend's insolence. We've had a very trying day. We were attacked on the road. Yes. I know all about it. It's a fortune that you were not injured. Yes, thanks to you and, and your men. Now, if we could just be on our way. Mr. Hunter. What are you really doing here? You're archaeologists. We're tracing the expansion of the Third Dynasty into this region. But aren't you headed in the wrong direction? The pharaohs were back in El Amarna. You're a bit off track. We have evidence that the pharaoh Akhenaten may have settled in this area for a while. I assume you have permits. May I see your papers? Yes, they're in my bag. Sit. I work with Dr. Saeed Shaheen at the Ministry of Archaeology. I have friends who are willing to pay a great deal for your help. I hope you're not trying to bribe me. No, of course not. Just compensation for your time. Your phone is on. And you have many missed calls. These papers are for the site near Cairo. So why have you come here? There's something we found at the site led us here. Will that be this little item? Mr. Hunter, you know these things. How much does it fetch in Black Market? A million? Or more? No. No, not that much. But it's nothing compared to what you think you're going to find. True? You assume this place is... primitive. But we have more modern technology than you think. Please tell me, what are you really looking for? Don't insult my intelligence any further. Listen. We're looking for a 
specific tomb. And what will you find in this tomb? Treasure, perhaps. We're archaeologists. We're not interested in money. You might not be interested in money, but everyone else is. Right, Mr. Hunter? I'll make you an offer that you cannot refuse. Godfather? Yes. Uh, it's a good movie. Okay, the third part is not, you know, the daughter was... Uh... <clears throat> Sorry. I will help you to find this treasure. From now on, we are partners. To what do we owe this great fortune? You see these? I'm aiming for general. And to find valuable ancient artifacts will be more than enough to earn a transfer to Cairo. We don't know if this treasure actually exists. If it doesn't exist, then I'll turn you in. Now please tell me, how far must we go? Well, we don't know that yet. Don't blame me for a fool. You will not be happy, but I will do. It's a very short drive to Nile, and our crocodiles are always hungry. That is a decryption device. It leads to markers which lead to a final destination, where the treasure may be. The next marker is very nearby. Perhaps you could come with us. Fine. Then you will be my guest tonight. Tomorrow, we will begin our journey. And please, make yourself at home. But, let's understand each other. Don't do anything stupid. Or I'll have you shot. Could you show me to the ladies' room? Thank you. Many missed calls, huh? Last night she told me her phone had died. I told you I didn't trust her. She charged it. What's the big deal? When? When we were being chased? Oh, she's wonderful. Don't you think it's a little convenient that we were attacked again? I mean, how do you think that these people are finding us? Look, you're not making any sense. Why would she want us killed? She needs us to find the tomb. She just offered a colonel money. She was playing him like I was. And where do you think she finds the kind of money to, to bribe officials? Did telling the truth help? No. No, it didn't. You know, not everyone is as pristine as you. Pristine? Yeah, pristine. Do you know what you are? You're a self-absorbed, arrogant, stubborn pig. Hey, must have hit it kind of close to home. Yeah, what do I, you I, think, Tariq? I don't think... Hey, maybe you should have stayed on the boat, right? You and that captain were hitting Maybe I should have. At least he was a gentleman. Oh, he was a gentleman. Yeah, Jack, oh, he so was a gentleman. So what does that make me? Enough. Some sort of... Enough! No, I said Enough! You were... I miss my wife. For the moment, we must be patient and keep them under watch. But when the time is right, we will attack. And then we will reclaim what's rightfully ours. Good morning, my friends. Let's 
Let's go and find our treasure. Where are we going, Mr. Hunter? No. You let them out first. Consider your friends as an insurance policy. I need the obelisk. And my bag. about a palace on the lake. But where? Ruins. On the top of the hill. Is there always a treasure there? No. Just the next marker. Okay. Let's go and find it. I will be your tour guide. Yalla! nearby. Perhaps you could come with us. You know, not everyone is as pristine as you. I decided I was going to go on my own. I've been on my own ever since. That's the way I like it. How do I know that you're not doing this for the money? have been killed over this treasure. Relax. We will find this tomb together. And you will be reunited with your friends. Yeah, and you'll get your promotion. Yeah? Everyone wins. <laughs> This point. That's right. Yeah, it's going. Come on, Mr. Hunter. I don't have all day. Let's go. Don't make me come up there. Come on up. A nice walk.
What do you see, American? to the north. Let me see. Are you certain? This is where the treasure is hidden, huh? And it appears. I don't need you anymore. Rest them. And when I come back, I will decide what to do with them. My notes don't say everything. You're bluffing. Can you be so sure? What happens if you get to that tomb and there's just another clue? How well do you read, Ugaritic? Colonel? You are clever, Mr. Hunter. You're coming with me. But I'll keep these. What about the others? They are safe in jail. And I don't need to remind you what will happen to them. If you betray me. Let's go. Move. Jack. You gotta be kidding me. You think Jack Hunter's coming back for you? guys that attacked us yesterday. There are bandits approaching. Kill them!
How was your day? My feet are killing me. So why don't you place the gun down and take a break? Not a good idea. Consider the consequences. There are some people who still find me appealing. Take his gun. Hope it was worth it. Believe me. Surprised? Women choose men who make commitments, Jack. Actually, I must thank you. Once again, your work will lead me to the place where I need to be. I almost feel guilty about it. This isn't over. Once we have located the tomb, it will be over for you, I promise. But I guess you're being followed like always, so we must go. Bring them. Perhaps he was not being very dramatic when he said there are others interested in this song. This is going to get very messy before it ends. Yalla! Just think how close you are to proving Frederick great. If it means the treasure is going to be in your hands, I hope he was wrong. There's only one thing I want. I know you've already seen what a mere piece of it can do. We follow this way and then further to the east. This is it. It's Latin. For the glory of Rome. Yeah, that worked out great. There has to be more. What are you not telling me, Jack? You have my notes. Do your own work. All this way, and for what? For Latin lessons. And drugs in my shoes. Here we go. Nice work. Thank you. Bring me light. to miss this jack. Is it the eye of the star? Not exactly. You're right, I wouldn't have wanted to miss this. Is it empty, Jack? What does it mean? It means the Romans got here before we did. Thousands of years before us. The eye's gone, Midman. Gone. 
shut up! There's gotta be something in this treasure that we can salvage. This is no treasure! This treasure means nothing. The Romans? No, Jack. We both know the eye is not in the Vatican's basement. It is still out there somewhere. Will you help me? No. I will find it myself. We move to Cairo. And as for all of you, you get to stay. We're staying? You'll never get away with this. And you won't get away at all? Let's go. Seal them in. You hurt? No, I'm fine. <sighs> the hell was that for? Lena. Why would he leave this? Give it to me. Come over here, help me. What's wrong? Don't you ever slap me again. And don't you ever try to tell me what's acceptable in terms of my business. And you just remember who got us here. Got us where? What have we got? Good afternoon. This is just beautiful.
was just a decoy to throw off looters. The treasure was here until the Romans came. Zuri, give me a hand. Push the feet. Disgrace the Pharaoh's tomb with your presence. This is more like it. Silence! Jack, what do we do? Nothing. Don't take any chances. Good plan. Who are you? We are million soldiers. Seeking to return our royal bloodline back to power! You're delusional. We are descendants of Akhenaten. The pharaohs brought the Eye of the Star here to hide it from those not worthy to wield its power. His own people did not understand and cursed his name. But now... We shall use it to help us regain our rightful place in the world. Hand it over. I don't have it. No. We shall soon see. Take her! No! Take her! No! Let her go! You're cut in two! Please, please! I told you! The eye is gone! The Romans took it! I don't think so! No, no! Think again! It's a Roman coin. They were here. No. No! It can't be! All this time? It can't be! Listen to me. Killing us, that will not help you achieve greatness. Of course, it will! Don't move! Everybody's under arrest! Kill them all! Stop going after things that don't belong to you, bitch!
Stay behind me. It was worth it. I have failed you, my father. Now I'm coming to join you. It won't be that easy for We need to get to the eye before Lippman does. No, we need to find a way out of Egypt before we get... Hello, Mr. Hunter. <laughs> Arrested. I'm afraid you must come with me. Dr. Shaheen, the bandits are captured! I found something up there. It's better you go and see. Secure the area and don't touch anything, okay? And you three, you are free to go. I'll escort you myself to Cairo. Looks like you're gonna get that promotion after all. <laughs> yes. After all, it's real, huh? Yeah. It's beautiful up there. Will this site help your work? Yes. There's a lot of studying to be done. Let's go. German. I thought he was with you. Jack, what about the iris? What? Oh, nothing. I just saw a beautiful piece of jewelry in there that I thought my wife would like. But of course, I would never consider actually taking it. Of course not. Pieces of puzzle. Seems that way. Well, the obelisk seems to be authentic. I'm sorry I didn't believe you earlier. Well, it was a bit. Unbelievable. <laughs> Any sign of Littman? Last I heard, Cairo police had a solid lead. He should be behind bars in no time. I'll be sure to credit Professor Sheffer's theory in finding Farouk Akhenaton's tomb. Though the treasure was gone, the tomb provided irrefutable proof that, at one point, the treasure of Ugarit had been there. Thank you. If you need any help with the excavation. Uh, however, considering the recent rather dramatic event, I don't think he wants any more of our help. I think we should just go home. When things calm down, I will invite you back as my guest. But for now, please don't think me rude. I have arranged for the three of you to be on the next plane to Damascus. Thank you. But I wish you the best with your research in Syria. Perhaps the obelisk 
would make a welcome addition to Sirius' collection. <laughs> So, if the Romans stole the eye and the treasure, where would they have taken it? I'm hoping this little fellow right here will lead us the way. Jack, you didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. It's the only lead we have to go on. No, not again. You have a friend of ours in custody. Not anymore. 